Hi, this is Sarah Tolga, and I'm going to demonstrate how to play overtones on electrical metallic tubing. In the process, we'll also talk about how metal tubes vibrate, how to find nodal points, and how to use different kinds of mallets to change timbre. One thing we should cover up front is how our tubes vibrate when they are played. For example, if I strike this tube near the center point, it will vibrate and make the tube deform, or bend up and down in reaction to the mallet strike. This up and down motion creates what is called a transverse standing wave. Now, if we want to play the fundamental frequency, or the lowest frequency possible on this tube, we would want to use a large soft mallet. And, we would need to hold the tube at a nodal point or node, so we would not disturb the vibration of this transverse wave. For the fundamental frequency, the nodal points are always 0.224 times the length from each end. So, approximately 22% end from the ends. Now that we are holding the tube at a nodal point, here is the fundamental for this tube, F4. If we want to hear the first overtone, we would hold the tube at 0.132 times its length. Therefore, to obtain different overtones on the same tube, we would simply change the area we dampen. This can be demonstrated further by changing to a thinner, harder mallet, which will excite shorter, faster vibrational modes and produce higher overtones. In fact, here are the first three overtones on our tube. So, to accentuate the fundamental frequency of a tube, we would likely choose a larger, softer mallet. And to mix more overtones into our sound, we would likely experiment with a harder, thinner mallet. In this way, we can change tone or timbre in order to complement our musical performance. 